good morning so today i am going to explain about uh, the uh, construction technology management next topic is construction equipment so already given a brief introduction about in the previous class so now in that class we have a full in detail about each and everything like around seven classifications are there about seven classifications what are the equipments are used for the these are all so we are going to explain in the present class so while in the construction equipment while you are doing a, a construction a project like if it is a long term project or short term project so for that long term or maybe short term there may be need of equipment there are a lot of equipment different different types of equipment so that type of equipment are you now used so these are the different types of like earth movement equipments hauling equipment hoisting equipment conveying equipment aggregate and concrete equipment file driving equipment pumping and dewatering equipment. so these are all different different type of equipment so now i am going to explain in detail about each and every every everything everything so so please listen carefully yeah so this is the uh, classifications of construction equipment so already given a brief introduction in the previous class so what is the classifications of construction equipment while earth moving equipment hauling equipment hoisting equipment conveying equipment aggregate and concrete production equipment file driving equipment tunneling and hurling equipment pumping and dewatering equipment so already given in the previous class uh, in detail about so once again see that so while you are doing operations in the construction equipment by using the uh, like what you told uh, these uh, uh, equipments so what are the operations are going by using these equipment what are the operations yeah like excavation digging of large quantity of earth moving them to distance which are sometimes fairly long placements compacting leveling dosing grading hauling these are the uh, works involved in the uh, project while you by the um, different uh, equipments yeah so how excavating and earth moving equipments so why how we are doing excavating excavating nothing but like you have to uh, taking something from the ground yeah so what are the earth moving equipments simply for the first one is earth moving equipments like power shovel back hoe drag line cam shell scrapers bulldozers these are all called earth moving equipments so i will show the diagram yeah see so this is the Uh, earth moving equipments so like uh, this is the first one is the old one and second one is the new one so this is called power shovel so uh, see here the first one is the power shovel how the power shovel will operate yeah power shovel yeah to excavate the earth and to load the trucks so from the earth to have to uh, take the whatever will be there maybe soil or something so that is load to the truck uh, that is the main function of power shovel capable of excavating all types of earth except hard rocks except something like stones like so many large stones except then you can use for that one. the size of varies from 0.375 meter cube to 0.5 meter cube basic parts of power shovel including the track system cabin cables rack stick boom of foot pin saddle block broom broom like these are all you are using in the power shovel yeah what is the application suitable for close range of work capable of digging very hard materials can remove big sized boulders it is used in various types of jobs such as digging in gravel banks clay pits digging cuts in road works roads side beam burns like etc yeah what are the factors affecting of the power shovels a class of materials depth of cutting angle of swing job condition management conditions size of hauling units skills of operators physical conditions of shovel yeah so this is the diagram uh, how the you are uh, using that uh, like uh, this is the first one is the so this is the first one is the old one and this is the new one power shovel you already seen uh, at the different different places yeah next one back hoe so before explaining about back hoe i will show that uh, diagram this is the called back hoe So actually, we have a different different names like bulldozers, like cranes. We have a different different names, but actual name is back hoe. Okay. Actually, about back hoe, it is also known as hoe or back shovel and full shovel. Different name is hoe or back shovel and full shovel. It is used to excavate below the natural surface on which it is rest. 
generally used to excavate trenches pits for basements and also for grading works which require precise control and depth the basic parts are boom jog boom boom foot drum boom shave stick sheep stick bucket and bucket sheep so these are the different equipments so you see the diagram like the, uh, whatever the uh, you are explained in different uh, like uh, uh, parts will be there so that shown in the in that uh, diagram see here this is the tractor loader stabilizer legs boom bucket backhoe so that is called backhoe and stick yeah applications it is most suitable mission for digging below the mission level such as trenching footing basements etc it can be efficiently used for dress or trim the surface avoiding the use of manual efforts for dressing the excavate the surface okay and uh, uh, coming to uh, next one a drag line so this is the drag line i will show the diagram of drag line so this is the drag line basically uh, the drag line are used in the uh, use projects while you are doing the such big project big project so while you are use the drag line so i am going to explain about the drag line see the drag line the drag line is so named because of because of its uh, prominent equations of the dragging the bucket against the material to be dug unlike the shovel it has a long light crane boom and the bucket it's loosely attached to the broom of through cable because of these construction a drag line can dig and dump over larger distance than a shovel can do drag lines are useful for digging below its track level and handling softer materials the basic parts of the drag line including the boom hoist cable drag cable hoist chain drag chain and the bucket so we have a different uh, and, and applications of that it is most suitable mission for dragging softer material and below its track level it is very useful for excavating trenches when the sites are permanent to establish their angle of response without shoring it has long reaches it mostly used for the excavation for canals and depositing the embracking without hauling units so this is the diagram of that back hole so what of the material will be there that from uh, takes from here and put is like different uh, applications of rather than be previous to classification and calm shell so calm shell is very important i will show the diagram you have an idea this is called calm shell so so this is the calm shell wherever you if you are going to dig in water uh, if you want to take a, a small uh, like bigger depth of clay from the water so these calm shell are going to use that calm shell yeah coming to calm shell Uh, this is so named due to the resemblance of its bucket to a calm which is like a shellfish with hinged double shell the front end is essentially a crane boom with a specially designed bucket loosely attached to the end with through cables in the drag line the capacity of calm shell bucket is usually given cubic meters the basic parts of the calm shell bucket are closing line hoist line sieves and bucket drag line shell and hinge Uh, used for handling loose materials such as crushed stone sand gravel coal etc the main feature is vertical lifting of material from the one location to another mainly used for removing materials from coffer dam shaver main shovel and well foundation etc and this is the diagram of calm shell so next one comparison between different types of equipment like it is a uh, excavation of wet well a distance between footing loading like these are all you can have a, a different different like if it is a excavation of that poor um, poor uh, like good good not good like depending upon the materials you can use the different different uh, like uh, what type of may, may, uh, material are used yeah trenching mission so this is the trenching mission you can see the diagram used for excavating trenches for laying pipelines sieves cables etc operations is quick giving the required depth of width or width uh, two types of trenching machines wheel type and ladder type yeah scrapers next one is scrapers unique machines for digging and long digging and long distance hauling of uh, polyable material self operating machines it is dependent on other equipment wheels the machines which causes some comparison yeah this is the scraper while for the leveling uh, if you want to level the material in the ground level then you can use the scrapers bulldozers 
already have a well idea about the bulldozers i will show the diagram so this is called bulldozers see the diagram the different different parts will be there on each and every uh, uh, equipment is dependent upon the number of parts yeah the heavy blade attached to the tractor pushes the material from one place to another the tractor can be of queller or the wheeler type classifications of bulldozers position blades and in that one position blades pulled bulldozers in which the blade perpendicular to the direction angles dozers which is blade set an angle with and directions of movement that is like second one based mounting third one is based on control different types of bulldozers yeah Uh, applications of these one for separating the earth field for separating pilot roads cleaning construction sites maintaining hall road like the, you can see that tractors already have a well idea about the tractor now i will show the diagram these are the different types of tractor while in the construction material yeah the multi purpose materials like yeah uh, because i am skipping somewhat little bit faster than because uh, already 9 minutes over so because uh, it cannot upload in that one so combine this is the comparison if you see that diagram yeah earth compaction equipment smooth well rollers uh, sheep foot rollers pneumatic trailers like so, so this is the diagram smooth wheel roller so this is the roller as you can see the uh, how the operations will be on on uh, plain steel rollers self propeller rollers like you can see that yeah sheep foot rollers these are foot rollers pneumatic trailer rollers Uh, pneumatic uh, tied rollers hauling equipment so this is the side dump truck rear dump truck bottom dump truck dumpers so this is called dumper that means what you can what are the material will be there that you can dump from one place to another hoisting equipment see the hoisting equipment these are mobile cranes overhead gravity cranes overhead cranes you can see in any constructions while you are constructing any project you can see these, these different types of uh, like equipments traveler cranes tower cranes so this is called tower cranes conveying equipment belt conveyors So this is the belt conveyors, screw conveyor. This is called screw conveyor. Bucket conveyor. This is called bucket conveyor. Aerial transport. So this is called aerial aerial view transport. Jaw crushers. So this is called jaw crusher. So I will explain each and every one again for simplicity. Cone crusher. This is, this is called cone crusher, a roll crusher. So in that one there are two rolls will be there. In that one you can put the material that will crush to uh, larger material to load the material. Hammer mill. So this is called hammer mill. This is called rod mill and ball mill. Thank you.